I don't really remember a time when I wasn't growing plants. I started out as a child with a lot of cacti and succulents and started getting into foliage plants. I remember going to a lot of jumble sales and places like Woolworths. I'm not sure what it would be like not to have any plants. I think it would be very sterile and dull and I'd probably be wondering what on earth to do with my hands <laughs> because I, whenever I'm moving around my house I'm constantly fiddling about with plants, pruning plants, picking dead leaves off, using the watering can. There's always something to be done. There is a collector spirit in me which wants to have a one of everything, of every interesting plant I've ever come across. But at the same time, I also love getting a plant that is perhaps not doing so well and then figuring out what it needs, doing some research, finding out what that plant really needs to make it thrive. If somebody asks me how to take care of a really tricky plant, I always say put it somewhere where you're going to look at it all the time, on your desk or in front of the sink or somewhere where it's really easy to spot several times a day and then as soon as something's going wrong or going right, you're going to know about it. What's so fascinating about plants is how they've figured out through years of evolution how to solve the problems of living in their environment. So every house plant has to adapt to live in its native home. So cacti and succulents, there's a reason why they have those spines, why they're fleshy. The, the place they live is dry, lack of water. They need to protect themselves with those spines. They're so clever at finding ways of, of living in harsh environments. And all the things that we find stunning and beautiful about house plants, usually there's some practical adaptation that the plant has made to its environment. I just find it fascinating that plants have evolved in so many different ways to tackle different problems they experience. If you can, look first at what rooms you've got, how much light they have, how big your windows are, and let that inform your houseplant choices. There is a plant for every single spot in your home and you've just got to find the one that suits you and your conditions.